Hi, I'm Andy from the Vermont Folklife Center, back again with Ailey. Hi. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the layout and some of the functions of the Tascam DR40 audio recorder. Uh, Tascam DR40 records to secure digital cards of the sort that you see in a lot of digital cameras these days. It lives under that little flap there. You just sort of tuck it in, leave it alone, and ignore it. It has uh, two built-in microphones, and then two inputs for connecting an external microphone to the unit. For uh, most of the project we're doing, we recommend you use the external mic that comes in the kit. On the front of the recorder, the face, you have the LCD screen. And I'm going to focus mostly on the things that are uh, directly relevant to the application in this project. This button, the on-off home button, is what you use to turn on the recorder and turn off the recorder. We'll demonstrate those functions in a little while. The play button is what allows you to play back recordings that are stored on the card on the recorder. The record button is a dual function thing. Press it once and you go into record pause mode, which allows you to get things set up in preparation for doing a recording. And then you press it again and recording is underway. In regard to all these buttons, we're going to focus on two, uh, the plus button and the minus button. Those are the volume controls for the headphones. So we're going to turn the unit to its side now. This is where you plug in the headphone. This X'd in, uh, that's the external input selector. For the sake of this project, you want it pushed all the way over to the right to mic plus phantom. That means the recorder is going to be set to accept input from the microphone external inputs and also use phantom power. We'll talk more about what phantom power is in uh, a forthcoming video. This here is the input level control. This is something you need to be mindful of while you're recording. Uh, this affects the overall uh, loudness of the recording you create. Then over on this side, you have, of course, the secure digital slot and also the USB input. This is where you plug in the USB cable to connect the recorder to a computer to upload the audio off of it. Also, the USB cable is what you plug into the power supply if you're going to use wall power when you're recording instead of batteries. On the bottom of the machine, this is the battery input. The Tascam DR40 takes three AAA batteries. There is a battery life indicator that's um, displayed on the LCD screen, and we'll show you that in the next video. This here, this is just so you can mount it to a standard camera tripod. We're not going to worry about that, because mostly we just encourage you to leave it sitting on the table while you're recording. But yeah, that's the basics of the Tascam DR40.